yeah hi guys yeah i was planning to do some corn chaff today i don't know what you if you know about corn chaff this is a kind of cameroon uh, typical dish in cameroon i don't know if other countries they, they cook that too it is uh, corn and beans so um uh you cook uh, corn and beans you like porridge together you know in africa poor people like it but since i call, i used to eat that a lot in in, uh, in cameroon but when i came here i don't like it anymore then now i start liking it again you know food i used to eat in africa which i didn't like when i was in africa now i start to like them so i start to cook them back again i start cooking it uh, slowly and uh, yeah so i'm cooking today uh, i'm cooking today concha let me put my head tie down yeah, I'm cooking today uh, corn chaff and uh, I made some salad today. I don't know if you saw it. I ate the salad before and uh, I got it from my garden um, front and back because I planted salad and they really start growing really fast. So I picked some of them today. I make just simple salad with olive oil and uh, I did enjoy it. So now I'm planning to cook this uh, this afternoon try to cook something like uh, corn chaff and i'll make maybe some pancakes or some uh, beignet have you eaten beignet before beignet is like a kind of cameroon thing they call it in nigeria like puff puff or something like that it's made out of milk sugar and salt it's easy so i'm making a puff puff today and some corn chaff so let me show you how the corn chaff it looks like uh, second I'm trying I'm cooking the the beans now one well, second I'm it yeah I'm cooking the beans you can see not the beans the corn sorry I'm boiling the corn I think it's even ready itself so I put it off I put it uh, in I soak it in the night in the water so I'm going to just leave it now here and then I will come now and add some uh, ginger, garlic, onion. Then, I'll no, I'll fry it extra. I'll fry the garlic, ginger, onion. And then I'll put just canned beans. I will use these uh, kidney beans together with it. The big ones, it's really big. It's almost like one kilo. You know, 700 and, you know, 790 something. Let me say 800 pounds. So I will use two of that and then uh yeah so this is the corn that i use it's pure corn this one i use this corn it's really cheap you can buy it from uh they call it grace corn or something like that you know you can buy it from a superstore or they call it yummy corn so you can buy it from superstore or any of those stores it's easy it is peeled already clean so you just wash it suck it like maybe a little bit uh, two three hours then you boil it it, it cooks really really fast so I use only small. I don't want to use too much in the beans. So I use only half of this packet. And this corn is just uh, one. I think it's one. The uh, it's one dollar, one Canadian dollar. So I use half of it, and then we together with these beans, and I will use some tomatoes, some garlic, and uh, you know, and then use some olive oil together with that. You know, so that's I'll put a lot of garlic and uh, add some ginger here also i'll use some ginger and onion use a lot of uh, onion so that is what i'm going to to do for this uh yeah we we'll use some onion that's how we're going to cook that garlic ginger onion and maybe black pepper use some black pepper use some curry powder and i have fresh pepper too i have some fresh pepper in my fridge i can use i bought fresh pepper last time yeah i have this uh, uh chili i have even this one too so i can use this nice uh, chili pepper inside fresh pepper and and then i'll use make it with some beignet 
with some beignet together. I have some small tomato, <clears throat> not so much, so I used to grind that. Some tomatoes, and that's it. And just easy and make a simple, simple, um, simple meal with this uh, concha in African style. I can put some crayfish inside too, you know, and then fry it together, and then I can make some uh, beignet together with it. I don't know if you know how to make beignet. I can teach you how to make beignet. Let me set that together so I can teach you how to make it beignet. One second. I hope this is going to... Uh, one second. One minute. Um, let's come out and see if, if it's going to stand. So I can show you how. If it's going to stand. Okay. All right. Let me. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I hope this is okay. All right, we'll put some sugar, you know. I'll put like two of these uh, cups, like that, not too much. And then uh, put some salt. Beignet is very easy to make. Put some salt. I just measure it on my hands because I can measure it quickly on my hands. I just put like a little bit salt like that. And then you use some put some heat, put some heat like that. I use this cup to measure like that, a little bit of heat. Instant heat. I use this uh, this one here, this uh, instant heat. And then I mix it with hot water. I put some hot water. Let me see if it's going to start here. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I forgot to grab. Can I put some water uh, this thing? The heat. And, uh, mm -hmm. it tastes good. And then I use, let me just add more this sugar to make it really good. So, and then I use this flour, all purpose flour, and so I mix it together like that. It is easy to make for pork. So this is the dough here. You just make it to be not to be too thick. Uh, not to be too watery and then you just beat it like that it is uh you have to, when you are beating it you try to watch to see if it is uh too thick if it is too thick you can add a little bit of water like that and add a little bit of water you always use uh, hot water, so uh, add a little bit of water or warm water or just, yeah, so I think this is good. Let me see. So, for pot is really easy to make. That is just all what you put inside. And then you keep it now. After you f I finish now, put it, cover it to rice. Let me see. Yeah, it is the right texture. So I'll cover it to rise up, and when it rise up, and then I'll start to fry it. So I'll be taking it with my hands, and then I'll fry it like that. So I'll show you how it is done. 
when I start to fry it, I will let you know. I hope this is the right texture. I think so. Maybe I can add small little flour again, like a little bit pink. Just a little bit. So, yeah, this is how it looks like like that, that texture. So, so that when you are using a pot to put in the hot oil, so you put it in the hot oil like dumpling. So this is done and uh, I will cover it and keep it now to rise up. So you take about an hour to rise up and then from there you can, uh, you can then fry it. So it is really, really easy to make a pot of they call it beignet. So, so easy to make beignet. So I hope when I will start to fry it, I will film it again so that I can show you how uh, everything is done. So now let me look for something to cover it. So when you do it, you always use a nice cloth and cover it up. So it is covered. I will just keep it here to rise up and then uh, you'll be ready to fry so just stay there till it rise up so i will see you when i'm frying the beignet okay so see you guys later <laughs> thank you i'll see you guys later thank you thank you hi guys i'm going out again today has been a busy day i'm going to pick heady now from work okay i'll see you guys let's go together let's go let's go let's go together a busy busy day so i just want to share my day today with you guys how busy it is sometimes and uh, yeah Yes, me turned it. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this thing is uh, I hope that it will not fall. Let me try today again. I know I tried to drive with it from my eye doctor place there to come home. It fell so many times. I will have to lock, lock out the picture, so the video. So now I hope. Uh, I hope this will be fine. So. drive slowly before this thing will skip out <laughs> oh wow 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 okay oh my god I said it yeah one second it fell down again one minute one minute one minute one second One second, guys. Head is coming. I want to waiting for her. Let me put out up on the. <laughs> Hi, my shots. We get. Good, good. Oh, it's hot today. It's hot today. Yeah, today is very very hot. It is. Uh... We are happy now. At least there is some heating. 
Yeah, it was cold. I wanted to go park the other side, you know. Why? There, so that I can go get oil because I wanted. I was making beignet, so oh. I already mix it. So but but we you don't have, have enough oil. In the mm -hmm. house, we or? have oil, but it's olive oil. Oh, okay. So I prefer to just go get a simple uh, oil. So it's just I was already here. Just I'll wait for it to come. Yeah, I was mm. talking to my friend a bit. That's I saw I, I saw Tans and Joe's coming now. Yeah, I forgot to. I was talking with my friend for a bit, mm -hmm. and I completely forgot about the time. If I told her, oh, my mom is waiting outside, <laughs> I have to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's why I was a little bit late. Sorry about that. No problem. I will just pack here because it's easy to get out of pack under this shirt here. Well, technically, we're not allowed to. Well, yeah, but people pack though. People still pack, so I'll just pack here briefly so that I can go get uh, under the shirts out. I've come here since there's just I don't have even know that I'm here. So let me go get. Uh, the, oh, you want to buy something? Mm. Or do you need anything? Mm, I don't think so. Any, any other stuff? So no, I think I'm okay for now. But a shop on uh, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Let me go. So I can go get that for And then uh, uh one minute. I forget I want to Okay. Let me go get that. Uh, so let's go and get I want to go to the superstore to get some uh, oil. So I can continue to make that beignet and show you guys how I do it. Simple and uh, fast. You can just do uh, snacks and uh, you just do very fast and get that done. If you have visitors, you have like uh, a kind of uh, children party small birthday parties you know so you can make those snacks oh yeah I'll go in see they still have flowers here yeah. go straight to the oil side this store is very big I don't want to be running around so let me see dry food I think international side you know this is toilet paper breaking I don't know where they say oil is it down here? Let me pass this international sound look. If not then, I think it's the other one. Oh, they have oil here too. So, so. Oil. This one is not bad. For 520. Let me go to the on that side and see if uh, they have different types. Let me look. Yeah. Oh, this is for for something. Okay, they have oil here on this side. So let me look. Let me 
go to the other area. Okay, they have all here. All the region. The oil. And I want just so flying. So they have this side, the corn oil, it's eight oil dollars, really expensive. And then they have this um, flower oil. They have this other type, which so, and then they have this one, which is canolin oil, which is uh, so I prefer to just take this one here, this Chinese oil that I took. I think this is good. I'll use that. So I think that is a good uh, choice I take. Yeah, I'll use this one. And uh, let me go out and pay. Let me go on this side. for a place where there are not so many people. I think here is okay. Oh, it's a lot of people here too. Wow. Like number 14. It's not. with that so going to see how beautiful this flowers are so flower time 
I've not been to the flower garden even this year. This year I was not really interested. I have bought so many seeds and soil. I wasted so much money for gardening this year. So I've not even been to the garden site at all. This year at all, at all, at all. So <laughs> this year has been a, a different type of year for me with gardening. I'm just like a little bit lazy, I don't know why, you know, so I hope God will help me to for, for my gardening this year. I want to put some few cards for evangelism, you know, one second. Let me find the cats. I always have cats in my bag. For evangelism. If you have small time in a day, you do evangelism. You put your cards on the cars, you know. So, let's go. I can put some few cats, even if it's just three cats it is uh, better than nothing Jesus loves you. Sorry, sorry. Guys, let me put this one. Jesus loves you. And one more. Jesus loves you. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Okay. So, you know, for the oil, for this type, mm -hmm. Chinese type. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, oh guys, I just wanted to share that with you. So, I'll see you the time that I'm trying to perform. So, thank you. Bye. Hi guys, I was doing the beignet, the perform that I was telling you that I'm going to do when I come back. So I went to buy the oil and to prepare to do the puff puff, the beignet as they call it in French. So I want to show you what is going and the conchaf that I showed you that I wanted to, to make today. Let me put on the light so that you can see. So let me turn the camera for you so you can see. So I'm just frying it now. You know, this is the penne here, and this is the corn chaff that I make already. Let me show you is the corn and the beans. So I make the corn chaff with just a little bit of corn. I showed you the corn before. So the corn and the two cup of beans, this is what came out. So it is ready now. It's just ready to, to eat. And the penne is also ready. So let me remove this one. And I'll put it on in this um, uh, thing here so that it can soak the oil. I'll remove it and then I'll put another batch in the fire so that you can see how I fry it. Because I showed you how I mix it before so it's easy. You know, I just kept it uh, a little bit longer because I had so many other things I was doing. So it took maybe a, a half, a, a one and a half hour. Uh, that I kept it to rise up because I don't also put too much heat, you know. So this is the oil. I bought this oil um, from a superstore as I went there. You people saw me. And now, so I will show you how I go with uh, So you wet your hand and then you take from the this thing and then you put it in the oil just a little bit, you know just like that 
that is how it comes out in balls like you just do like that you know so like it comes out in balls you just use your finger to cut it as you take the amount that you want like the amount that you want and then you use your finger like the small finger and then you cut it like that so it goes inside so it will come out round 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 like you know so you can make small ones you can make big ones it just depends on you how you want to to make it you know so it all depends on you so you take it in Africa that is how they do it and uh, you just put it in this uh, oil it becomes like a dumpling right so you put it in the oil and it become like a dumpling let me just put one and then it's enough okay so when you finish immediately you wash your hands in cold water you know to wash the the dough out while you are waiting for the other batch so this is the hot oil and uh, i'll just leave it there to to go a little bit before i'll use the spoon now i mean the fork to turn it and yeah you can it is amazing it tastes really really uh good it is succulent it is soft it's nice it's juicy mm. it tastes really really good so we eat this in africa Mmm, tastes good. Mm -mm -mm. Really good. So, it's Africa, this is like a poor man food. And it is also like, a, you can say, poor, not only poor man food, but it is um, street food too. You can buy this in Africa as a street food. The corn chaff. This is the corn chaff that is corn and beans, tomatoes, pepper, onion, garlic, fried together like this. And it's also a good food for vegetarians, you know, a good combination and good food for people who are vegetarians who don't eat meat and all that. So it is heavy. If you eat this, you get really full and also with the beignet. And uh, this costs like maybe three three uh, dollars to make the corn chaff, <laughs> you know, and then this puff puff, let me say I buy the oil. Yeah, if I have oil, then it's cheaper. But I bought the oil like five bucks. So this pop 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 the whole batch that will make it will be like maybe like six or seven. Let me say ten bucks <laughs> if I wanted to buy everything new from the store. So all together it's like thirteen bucks. So the whole this food and you can save like almost uh, six to ten people or even twelve people and eat this portion of food. So it is a really good way of uh, saving money or for somebody who uh, eats vegetarian or somebody who it does not have too much money so th this is a very good way to 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 eat and to eat healthy too you know so that is what i wanted to share with you today and this will be all for the video for cooking with me today i hope that you like it and i hope that you learn something my friends from new life and uh, rumble so thank you for watching thank you for for subscribing even if you are new here thank you for c considering for subscribing in the name of jesus god bless every one of you i would like to send every one of you some beignet <laughs> you know i would like to send some beignet for you so you see you just turn it like this this one is very big because it got double joined together, but it's okay. So you turn it like this, they just uh, fry in dumpling like that, and then that's it. You know, then you remove it out, and then it becomes like that. So that is the puff puff, and then you eat it with this corn chaff. Eh? So thank you for watching, and bon appetit. Thank you, God bless you, and bye.